Okay, so I love my Catalyst and the Elementalist in general, but if I were to play any other specialization, it would 110% be the Mirage, the elite specialization for the Mesmer from the Path of Fire expansion. Admittedly, I didn't even play Mesmer for like the first eight years of me having an account with Guild Wars 2. How dare you! And mainly this was because I got swept up in the Guardian fantasy. Firebrand kinda hits home, literally emphasizing a uh, burning paladin. It's pretty damn cool. But one day, I I decided I would play the Mesmer, specifically to try the Mirage, and it was absolutely amazing. The conditions, the cloaks, the mirrors, Beans, creams, potatoes. it just fit that assassin illusionist archetype perfectly. And honestly, this is why you need to be playing the Mirage in Guild Wars 2. Okay, so first you need to understand the requirements to play the Mirage. It is a fast-paced melee spec, especially if you were utilizing the spec-given weapon, which is the Axe. The axe focuses on laying out some heavy conditions, but the main aspect of the Mirage is their Mirage Cloak ability, which causes you to evade attacks like a normal dodge roll, except it does not interrupt any casting ability, meaning you can keep attacking even while dodging. When you enter this cloak, you also gain access to ambush skills, which are specialized limited time attacks that have extra effects and extra damage. Also, important to note here, in PvP and World v. World, Mirages only have one dodge bar. Everybody gets one. Tell them, Peter. The last change is these Mirage Mirrors, which are spawned after utilizing specific deception skills. When the Mirage touches one of these mirrors after it is formed, it grants you a free Mirage Cloak and an ambush attack, also while weakening nearby enemies. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out for a spin. So you have the basics down, but how does it fare in open world? Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, it is tough going for any light armor class in Guild Wars 2. <laughs> I mean, well, maybe not like the Reaper or the Catalyst, but everyone else has to work hard for it, and that is also true here. The Mirage is not a sleepy or laid back spec to play. Between managing your clones, stacking conditions, deciding whether to use your cloak offensively or defensively, it is a bit stressful. Now I will compare this to playing like the Thief in open world, albeit the Mirage has a bit of an easier time. The main thing to note here is that it does not take much to bring you down. Die. Despite this, I was able to take on lots of things in open world even champion level mobs, by evading and working these enemies down. What was great fun especially is when you overload an enemy with conditions and they are too damn distracted to even notice because your clones are beating them down. I found really great success with this build which focuses on blinding targets, stacking more confusion and then maintaining quite a few clones to distract enemies whilst we chop them to bits. Now, this is paired with my utility skills that mainly include escapes. I do like having the option, especially here, to teleport out of the way and, and create distance between enemies if I need to. Or, if I need to stealth, I can get away that way. For the gear, I had condition-oriented, with a mix of Vipers and Carrion. I would have had more Vipers, but I'm poor thanks to Legendary Grinds. Overall, in open world, I give the Mirage a 9 out of 10. Holy crap. Have you tried the Mirage? What do you think about it? Tell me down in the comment section below. Okay, so without a doubt, this is the main reason I decided to play Mirage, and of course, it, this was in structured PvP. Holy crap, I cannot stress to you how much fun this damn spec is. Wait, that's illegal. Now, as a Mirage, remember that thief comparison? Basically the same thing here. You need to be able to be elusive and fast to handle most PvP enemies because, well, the meta is really elusive and fast right now as well. The biggest success that I found was teleporting on top of weakened enemies, either ones that were pressured or I knew did not have any defenses, use my cloak, get off all of my abilities, and use three clone diversion to daze them for a few seconds, which makes their escape nigh impossible. Then, before their allies can assist or they can turn on me, teleport out, and we are Gucci. Seriously, I view the Mirage in structured PvP as a spider. If the enemy is weakened, I can teleport on top of them, suffocate them quickly, and escape before anyone can stop me. Having said this, the Mirage does not fare as well in straight up 1v1 fights, especially on like side nodes. The reason being, at least in the build that I am running, is that you don't really have too much sustain, so if someone survives your burst, 
gonna have a bad time. It's not really worth for you to stay any longer because more likely than not, they can outlast you. So just jump away and reset. The spec also thrives as a roamer as well, literally being able to run from each of the side nodes and decap before the enemies can make any real headway in points. Their main strengths here are mobility and elusiveness, distracting enemies and also escaping. The build I used is here, which is my coined ineptitude build, which focuses on blinding enemies with a ton of confusion and then overloading them with conditions and a mix of hybrid damage, power and condi. I use all escapes with this build and make the best use out of the stealth from the torch skill as well as the signet of midnight to escape if I need be. Now this is a variation of the popular axe carrion build that focuses on the power blocking of enemies but I prefer blinding and confusion. If you do want to learn more about this particular build, I've included a link at the end of the video that will take you to my ineptitude build guide. Mirage in PvP, 10 for 10, great fun. If you are a fan of the Purple Showstopper, make sure to like and subscribe to get more strange content. Lastly, I dove into PvE, specifically strike missions. Now I know without a doubt, Mirage has a place in PvE, specifically the Double Staff Alacrity Support build, which basically provides alacrity in 25 stacks of might like forever. But I wanted the axe wielding, mirror shattering version. So I'm going straight up Axe Condi Mirage with a pistol and torch. So let's go. Time to go. Admittedly, I was a bit worried I wasn't going to be able to survive as well as I didn't try to include too many stats of survivability such as vitality. But aside from that, my biggest concern was the Mirage Cloak being baked into the rotation. However, I actually didn't have any issues whatsoever staying alive. Of course, I did run into an issue utilizing Lingering Thoughts, the Axe 2 ability, as this is a displacement ability that propels you forward. And the main problem there is I'm no longer stacked with my allies, and sometimes I'd either miss boons or it'd put me in a dangerous spot. <laughs> I'm in danger! But all in all, I thought it worked out pretty well. I was able to deal competent DPS. This is the build that I utilized, which is pretty similar to the Ineptitude builds that I've been using for every other form of endgame content, but it was pretty straightforward. I did, however, look at the suggested rotation for the Mirage, and it is... Ooh, a high skill ceiling indeed, but that's okay. I was able to flow in combat the way that I thought I needed to without issue, so great success. Mirage and Strikes, 9 out of 10, spin to win. All right, so my closing thoughts here, the Mirage is without a doubt a great spec in Guild Wars 2, and it provides a real challenge to an already confusing class. And again, this really echoes my thought that if I didn't main a Catalyst, I would definitely be maining a Mirage in Guild Wars 2. It has so many different abilities, it's so much fun, it's so fast, there's so many different things that make this great. Between the timings of ambush attacks, the moment to moment decision making about the Mirage Cloak, it really does provide quite thrilling gameplay. Now I will say I am still learning and am not necessarily a pro at it, but holy crap, it is 110% worth your time to pick up and play. Cloaks, sand, and mirrors, I mean, what more could you want? If you are interested in my Ineptitude Mirage PVP build, check out this video here. Stay caffeinated, folks.